She says it came to her in a vision. A Santa Fe artist says when she saw it, it had to be recreated. And now her vision is gaining worldwide attention. News 13's Catherine Mazzone has more. Catherine? That's right. Adam Crystal, Bobby Bennett has been taking photos for three decades. In fact, she took this award winner when she was only 25. Now it's set to go on display at the Louvre in Paris. It's mainly the new show, which is called Home on the Range. Photographer Bobby Bennett shows us some of her most recent work. I have experienced the landscape here, which I love, and that's actually what this new body of work is. But lately, Bennett's been getting a lot of attention for a photo she took more than a decade ago. My whole concept with this is called Fallen Angels, and basically they, it's, they're coming out of the sky to be our protectors. It's one of 150 chosen for the International Exposure Award. And I actually couldn't believe I was one of the winners. When I was submitting, I was like, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I don't even know why I'm doing this. And so when I got it, I almost fell off my seat. I had to read it like three times. The award means Fallen Angels will be published in a book and featured at the famous Louvre in Paris. This piece really has impact on people's lives and there's so much going on in our society and it's just really, it's, again, it's a reminder of faith and there's a higher power and, and people will just, I think they always want to believe in angels and they look kind of real. <laughs> they look real because those are real people. Bennett says she put the models in front of a background and painted them. Then she added props, like the wings. Lights, filters, and a fog machine give the angels that heavenly aura. This piece is all done through props and setup. There's no Photoshop manipulation. In fact, Bennett hardly ever uses software to alter her photos. So I'm totally old school. I still shoot traditionally and I print traditionally. That means using this old Kodak to create her masterpieces. It doesn't even have a viewfinder. So you have to really feel the land. But Bennett says that's easy in New Mexico. She says she felt called to Santa Fe. It's just become a haven. After spending time in the land of enchantment, Bennett says she understands why so many artists are drawn here. The light here is phenomenal. It's like no place I've ever been to. It's almost like a different planet. It's the light. Bennett's Fallen Angels is on permanent display in Santa Barbara. Her next show is in September in L.A., but she has work right now in the Drury Hotel, Santa Fe. Back to you. Catherine, thanks. Bennett has gotten a lot of attention online for Fallen Angels, too. In fact, she sold the last one last week after a collector from Virginia saw it on Facebook.